Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. And today I have a flip through video for you guys. Today I am flipping through the brand new Camellia Angelkova mini book. This is 50 Mythical Miniatures. It is adorable, you guys. I absolutely love it and I'm very excited to go ahead and flip this for you guys. So yeah, I don't know really what to say in this intro, I guess, besides the fact that I have already colored one page in it, so one page is uncolored, or is colored, so it's not a fully untouched book, but I'm sure you guys don't mind, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the flip through, and let's get right on into it. Okay, so the cover is absolutely stunning, but let's move on, and I'm only going to show you guys this side, because this other side, it's a single-sided book, so there's nothing on the other side, I guess, except for that page, but that doesn't really matter, but anyways... I hope everyone has been doing well. This book recently released, um, I believe on Tuesday maybe? I think it released on Tuesday, uh, May 2nd. So I'm really excited. She has been doing such a fabulous job on her newest um, miniature books. Not like they were never good, but like they have always been good, but like these have been really seriously amazing. Something interesting about this book as well is that um, she is n labeling basically each mythical creature on the page. Um, this is the only s section I believe, excuse me, oh my god, I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I think it's the only section where there are a few pages of the specific mythical creature, but the rest only have one per page, which I thought was interesting, but I wish some of these had multiples, um, but yeah, it's still really cute. I am so excited to color in this book. I think this one look beautiful, like rainbow themed, absolutely stunning. So if you are into the mythical creatures, you might very much like this book. I'm like not super into the mythical creatures, however, I got this book and now I absolutely love it. So even if you're not really into it, I love the troll page. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm going to color it inspired by the movie Trolls. Anyways, moving right along. These are just really fun and um, also I noticed that the last couple pages of the book are the um, like door pages um, that we see in some of her books or I guess like all of the minis books we do see some doors or castles or whatever so yeah but at this um, in this book it's at the end so I think that's interesting I kind of I just think it's interesting how she laid out this book um, but I love it I definitely feel like for each one I do I'm gonna have to google some inf inspiration um, Obviously, you can color anything, any colors, but I think it'd be kind of cool to see what they were intended to be colored. Um, so, this is freaking adorable, the leprechaun. <laughs> I really wish that I, like, that we had had this book during, like, St. Patty's Day, but it's just so cute. I love it. We got Cyclops. Some of these I just straight up don't know how to pronounce, but. The Nine-Tailed Fox is actually what I initially Googled. Also, I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Cause I was curious if I would get like one single like color palette very consistent throughout a bunch of pictures or if there were multiple color palettes. And I saw multiple different color palettes for this Nine-Tailed Fox, so. Yeah, like I definitely, oh my god, I could definitely see myself googling for inspiration, but I might not even use it, um, but we have the three-headed dog, it's so interesting. <laughs> this is the page I did, um, I did the mermaid page, I did it inspired by Ariel, it was buddy color with my bestie Meg, um, so we just did that page. So sorry you did not see it blank, but if you guys do want to see the page blank, I know Meg did a flip through as well, so go check out her channel. Um, honestly, go check out her channel regardless, but yeah. Got that one. We have Hippocampus, which I did not know was like a mythical creature. I, oh, like, I guess I always knew like it was a part of the brain, but like I didn't realize that Hippocampus was a mythical creature as well. I don't know. 
you really like this one. These are just really adorable. How many times can I say that? I just think she really knocked it out of the park with this book and I highly recommend you pick it up. I will leave it linked down below uh, from Amazon. I believe it's going to be an affiliate link, but honestly, I don't like affiliate links enough to ever make money off of them. Um, but the disclaimer is always there that it is an affiliate link. So definitely feel free to pick up your copy. Um, it is $5.99, which is an absolute steal for her books. She could charge so much more for these books and people would still still buy them. Um, her old, her books used to be $4.99 and then she decided to up the price to $5.99 but she didn't up the price of her older ones. She kept the older ones as $4.99 which I think she should have upped them all personally. Um, I think they're that good that she just should have upped them all but yeah. They are $5.99, so they are a steal, and I always pick these up, the miniature books specifically. Like, as soon as I find out they exist, I pick them up. They are one of my auto buys. I absolutely adore the minis books, and I have not been disappointed. I have not been disappointed in a single one. There are some I like more than others for sure, but I definitely think they all have their place in time. So, especially in her more recent books, the images themselves are quite larger than her older books. Um, maybe at some point I'll have to do like a comparison video showing you guys the older minis versus the newer minis. I think that'd be kind of interesting. But, and the line work, like the black line work is a little bit thicker. So it makes it a little more challenging for marker to bleed, which is kind of the goal, honestly, for me personally, because I use markers, I'm going to say 100% of the time. I don't really use anything else. Yeah, I have not heard of some of these, but again, I also like am not really like super well versed in the mythical world. So <gasps> we have a little elf. That is so cute. Perfect for Christmas time. So I like how some seasons are kind of incorporated in a sense, just because like some of these mythical creatures are very like specific to a holiday or a season. We have the gnome, which would be perfect for fall time. So definitely a good book all year round. Ooh, cute little fairy. I'm kind of sad I already did the mermaid page and I did it for mermaid so I did it very like for a specific reason but like ah I did like one of my favorite pages. <laughs> Again all of them are cute I'm just like of course I did that you know <laughs> but oh that's super cute. I like it. Winged dog. I've never heard of that. Maybe I'm crazy for not having heard of any of these, but I just haven't. Huh. It's like a spiked lion. Interesting. Okay, the Chinese dragon. That's cute. That's cute. I could see so much cool stuff being done in this book, and I hope I see everybody's awesome pages on Instagram. <laughs> I really do want to see them. I think some people are going to do some awesome stuff in this book. Love the unicorn. Wait. This gives me Dumbo vibes. Was Dumbo based off of this? Like, to an extent, like, was Dumbo based off of this? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Moving on. I don't know. I have no idea. I want to know more about Disney history, but I don't know, like, anything about the Disney history, so. Oh, these are just so cute. Oh, my God. I love the bats in this one. This one makes for a good Halloween-y page, which I like. Not at this very moment, it's May, but you know, in September, October, when I'm finally feeling Halloween-y again. Yeah, and 50 images is so many images. Like you will be coloring for so long. It's such a good deal. Her books are such a good deal, you guys. I highly recommend picking them up. little like wolf looking thing howling at the moon. Loki this is Zeus. <laughs> Sometimes he will just stand up and start howling and it just freaks me out. Like I just never expect it when he does it but. Oh this is cute. We got a bunch of little like cacti around. Really cute. Hippogriff. Never heard of that. But I can say that for a lot. This is adorable you guys go pick up this book it's really cute okay and like I said we get to like the doors at the end which is interesting um so we only have a couple doors in this book I think we only have two which is really little <laughs> usually she has more than that 
But yeah, we have that one and we have this cute little like under the sea kind of door, which is really fun. Um, but yeah, I think this book only has two doors. So I think, yeah, that's the end. So this book, you guys, I definitely recommend you go pick up. Again, I will leave it linked down below if you're interested in picking up through there. Otherwise, definitely just go to Amazon and search for 50 Mythical Miniatures by Camila Angelkova. Should be able to find it really easily. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through video. I know I had a ton of fun filming it and I'm excited this morning to probably dig into another page in this book. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!